This is Buen Rendo. Welcome to the first episode of my Let's Play Song for Tales of Werewolves. It's a Canadian game made by an indie studio, and I think it's an awful lot of fun. You can tell that a lot of love went into making this. Look at this artwork, and frankly, the music is some of my favorite in the games that I've played recently. It's a bit of a strategy game. It's not all that, you know, cutting edge or anything, but it's got a lot of heart. So I hope you'll enjoy these next few episodes. There are 30 days, 25, 30 days of wolves to battle off in this game, so you'll get a video uh, every so often for that many episodes. It'll be about one day per episode. I am rendering a Metro Last Light video in the background, so it might take a little bit longer than usual to boot up. Uh, but this load screen music is amazing anyway. So, enjoy. The story I'm about to tell you is not a fairy tale. Even if it talks of werewolves, the devil, and much worse still. It happened to me and my two brothers in that forsaken month of December 1858, near the village of Wolvesvale in Lower Canada. All right, I'm going to start a new game. I've got my profile set up and it's got two different options. One's pretty hard. That's when you play with Jack. So Jack isn't quite as big as Joe, Jos. Uh, Jos is like, you know, he can use his ax and tear up some werewolves. Jack's a little skinny guy, so he's got to use all of his traps. Let's do this. I beat the last game playing with Jos. Jack suits strategic play players that favor cunning and traps to survive. His name is Jacques T. Jack O'Carroll. As soon as he learned to walk, Jack started following his father, the Irish adventurer Bowen O'Carroll, to go hunting and trapping. Later, his passion for complicated traps got him interested in new technologies, such as steam engines and explosives, and he conducted many ingenious experiments. So I didn't have um, steam engines when I was playing with Joe's. In 1837, he took up arms with the Patriotas, I don't know, and fought for democracy and responsible government in Lower Canada. However, after wounding his face in the Battle of St. Charles, there, he had to take refuge and live as a hermit in an isolated cabin in the forest near the village of Wolvesvale. Choose. 
Although, I would argue no one actually needs to live near the village of Wolvesvale. We're about to override an existing game. Yeah, that's fine. The name of your new profile. Uh, yep. Wen Ren Da. Oh, really? Okay, so I have to make a new profile to start a new game. Um. Type again. What is his name? Jack? Jacko. Here we are. December 5th, 1858. It's a new moon. Wolf. For some time now, many villagers in Wolvesvale have noticed a lot of strange behavior coming from the wolves in the forest, acting more aggressive than usual. There are even rumors that they've been possessed by the devil. Recommend the traps, wolf trap, hanging net, spike trap. Here we go. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy! Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the door post. The thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. Don't worry. It wasn't my idea to come here, brother. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones, and let us both stay here with you. Did you hear that? Sounds like a wolverine's outside spooking our horses. You two make yourselves at home. I'll try to get rid of it. And Josie, don't feel obliged to finish my whiskey. A wolverine? There wasn't a wolverine last time around. Okay, let's see how old Jacques does. Head to the waypoint. We can do that. Um, so typically you will start off... Oh, what is this? Bloody hell! Horses are dead! And it's gotta be a wolf, not yeah. a wolverine. The pack must not be far. And of course you saw Dr. LaMontagne was killed earlier by some beast with predator vision. I'm calling it predator vision just because. Alright. And this is a lot of my game with Joe. Six pennies. Uh. Right. Find the nearby pack. Man, I was thinking I would do some traps. Where's the traps? I don't like it with the axe. You're a little guy, Jack. Remember, you're a little guy. The bridge to Wolves Vale is burning. With our only way out of the woods blocked, I won't be able to get rid of my brother for a while. Combat. Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen, while your stamina is represented by the green bar. You use stamina for each attack you make. If you run out of stamina, then your attacks are slow and weak. You accumulate rage for each attack you land on an enemy. The fire on the HUD and on your axe indicates that you have some rage built up. Right click to unleash all your rage. To evade enemy attacks, you can press the space bar to perform a dodge roll. 
Right, so there's actually tutorials for most of the game. Um, I will just let you watch them because the voice is pretty nice and, you know, it'll let you know what's going on, what I'm trying to do. If they get annoying, let me know in the comments. I actually... Oh. Okay. Uh, give me a sec to rest. There we go. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, man. This guy gets tired so quickly. Okay. Out of breath. Feeling better now. You're circling me, huh? You're circling me, Wolfie? I get you. Six cents. I guess I take their pelts and can sell them and stuff. Um... We got somebody crying out. Help! Help! Is it Phidias the Miller? May Saint Anne have mercy on me. For the love of God, please help me. Right. We're coming, we're coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. While my big brother just stays inside warm. The rifle. To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. This icon appears when your rifle is loaded. Your crosshair will be red if you have no target, or if your target is out of range. It will be yellow if you're auto-locked onto an enemy. If you aim carefully for the head, the crosshair will turn green, and you can make a headshot causing maximum damage. Left click to fire. The amount of ammo you have remaining is shown at the bottom left of the screen. Uh, yeah. Oh really, I have to go ahead and load it. Why didn't I go out there with my gun loaded? It's so slow when you start off. You have to put some points into it or something. Uh. Headshot. Oh, that was not a headshot. Darn it. These guys are going to circle at their own peril. Just charge in, Wolvies. Charge in. Uh, headshot. Oh, no, I missed it again. I'm terrible. I guess I have to hit him. Dumb old wolf. Gotcha. Okay, Phidias. Up in the tree. The good Lord has sent you. Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit. Hard to miss you, Miller. Think they heard you all the way to Quebec City. Be careful. There's a pack of rabid wolves around here. How many? Dozens. Hundreds, maybe. They even blocked the road to my mill in the east. Go see by yourself if you want. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W. Hood Company. Okay, let's go check out this road with all the wolves. I don't want to use up all of my stamina, though. You can see below, when I run, it takes stamina. So, conserve a little bit. Yeah, there... All right, I'm going to also... Oh, no, I wanted to reload. Fear Factor. When you're in combat, the Fear Factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second, in which case the icons start to get closer. When your enemy's fear factor is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. If you're running low on stamina, it's better to keep your distance and let it recharge. Be careful though, even if you have a higher fear factor, enemies will still attack you if you're too close. Frankly, I usually attack them before they're even close anyway, so. Whatever. I am right clicking, I am right clicking to make this go faster, but he's so slow. Okay, I can't wait to see all of Jacques' traps though. 
Hello, Wolf. I'm going to get you in the head this time. Got to gotta aim real careful. Real careful. Real careful. Yes! Headshot! He's gone. All right. No fear factor. Hey. Hey. Be afraid. Be afraid. Be so very much afraid. You. Uh, you. Headshot? Headshot, maybe? Oh, God. That was awful. I have my rage bolt. Yeah. God, that's like 18 cents there. That's a fortune. I think they're all dead. Let's reload. Secure the Mills Bridge. And here's the problem. We know where the mill is. We know that Phidias can't fend for himself. So now do I, what do I have to do? I have to take care of both my house and Phidias' house. Pack management. When you attack multiple enemies at the same time, your chances for survival drop. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space out their attacks. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. First, every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Second, the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities, the intimidating shout. Press the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. Don't forget, the distance between the two icons is how long you have before the next attack. Take this time to reload your gun and let your stamina recharge. Lastly, the paw symbol over an enemy's head means it's next to attack. Always pay attention to them. All right, time to scare me up some wolves. How many we got this time? Gun loaded. Uh, kill all the nearby wolves, and I'm going to yell. You're going to be intimidated? Ah! Hey! Attack me, God! No, I don't want you to attack me when I intimidate you. Okay. Are you guys intimidated? Good. Because I'm going to shoot you now. Yes! Headshot! Headshot! Okay. Very slowly reload, and I think I can shoot this guy and take him out. You right down. Bad dog. We're all safe here. Look at this. Uh-oh. Jack! Josie! That's my brother. I turn my back for two seconds, and he's in hot water. I'd better get back to the cabin as quick as I can. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense that he's in hot water. He's a big, strong man. He can take care of himself. To the right of the screen, you'll find the status icon for your buildings. Wolves and other creatures can damage your buildings. If they manage to destroy one, you fail the night. And that happens. Drink the Canadian whiskey in your pack by pressing 1. The Canadian whiskey enrages you, allowing you to do special attacks. You are not allowed to move temporarily. Just while I'm drinking. Okay. Uh, Canadian whiskey. No, I have special attacks. Oh, yeah, that is rage there. Yeah. And look, there's a big wolf. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to yell. Be intimidated. Oh, be intimidated. Be intimidated. All right. And I have to reload. No, I don't. That was a headshot. And he's a big wolf, so he does not go down. What kind of wolf can take two shots to the head from a rifle? Crazy. Okay. It's going to take three shots to the head. That's how crazy this wolf is. Also, my rifle's called like Old Bess or something. It ain't nothing. Uh, oh! Ten cents for that wolf, though. Now you get a little bit of rage. <clears throat> yes! On the ground. KO. Jacques wins. They speak to me. I hear them, but especially I, I see, I see the beasts. They were sent by the devil. What happened? I don't know. She started shaking like a crazy person. Then she let out an awful scream and fell to the ground. I never should have let you stay here. You just bring bad luck. 
There was nothing I could do, I tell you. Go get Dr. Lamontang. I don't know what happened. The bridge to Wolves Vale was burned down. We'll have to wait till morning. All right, Josie has gone all exorcist. And now we wait till morning. I'll see you for the next day.